Hello friends, uh, my name is Shambhu and I wanted to create a small video about a wireless configuration on ISR 1100 routers. I have received few of the questions on my blog and I have received few emails also uh, from people who are visiting my blog that I should make a, make a video about wireless configuration on this router. Although the configuration is very simple and Cisco made it very easy. The do uh, documentation also explains it very well. Uh, but it's it's good to have a video, right? So I'm going to uh, cover the wireless configuration part on this particular video. You can see on my screen, I have ISR 1100 router. The platform is uh, C11114P uh, wireless B, WB, and uh, it is basically wireless enabled here you can see that uh, we have slot 0 0.2 which has access point and uh, we'll go ahead and start configuring the device so for now I have wireless setup and I am connected to that wireless only but what I am going to do is I am going to factory default the wireless and then I'm going to configure it from the scratch. So in order to factory default the wireless, you just need to put a command hardware module sub slot zero by two. And uh, then if you do a question mark, you'll see error recovery option, password reset. So in case you have forgotten the password of the wire, uh, you know, wireless controller, then also you can uh, do this procedure and uh, otherwise, whenever you want to uh, reset the fire, uh, reset the wireless controller to factory default settings, you can uh, use this. In case you want to get into the wireless controller, you have this command session zero by two, and it will take you to the to the wireless controller uh, console. So for now, I'll just go ahead and factory default it, and then I'll show you uh, from the scratch that how does it look like when you buy a brand new ISR 1100 router and what you should do to configure wireless controller over that device so let's get started I'll just factory default it first uh, sub slot 0 by 2 L recovery password reset so I'm going to do factory reset then I'll pause the recording for some time because it takes some time uh, for the wireless controller to reload. So let's do this. All right, so uh, my wireless controller has come up now and uh, once it is up, you will see the Cisco Air Provision SSID available here. The password to connect this particular SSID is just uh, password. The default password is password, all in uh, small uh, cases and you can just go ahead and connect to it i have already connected it earlier so i am not asked for the password uh, once you are connected to this particular ssid you just uh, have to you'll have to go to uh, this particular website this is the url which is associated with the cisco wireless controller so once you are connected with the ssid you should be able to reach to this uh, day zero config URL for mobility express on this page you are asked to create username password so I am going to create some new usernames this is to connect to wireless only uh, this is it is not associated with the SSID which you are going to uh, create for the users to be connected so that that part comes later so this is just uh, admin account for the wireless controller and once it is done the, you, it will take you to this particular page and here you will have to uh, define various things like name of the wireless controller you can put anything uh, my controller and then these uh, settings are taken from your laptop itself uh, the country which you belong to and the time zone uh, date etc uh, the management IP <clears throat> I'm sorry the management IP which you are going to put here is the IP address for the wireless controller the IP address you would use to manage the wireless controller I am going to use 192.168.10.5 let's say 
and the subnet mask is 255 255 0 24 192 10.1 is my uh, IP address on the uh, on the VLAN one of the router. Uh, you can see that it has taken all these net mask, uh, you know, network and the mask configurations. The first IP uh, is 10.1, but I'm not going to keep 10.1. Let's start from six and end it on 250. You can choose anything as per your requirement in the network. It has taken the open DNS. Uh, thing for the DNS uh, you if you have the DNS available in your network or if you want to change it to any other DNS you can uh, use the user defined DNS with this just verify the configuration once and click on next here you will create the user uh, SSID which your users will uh, use to connect so my SSID is my net and there are two options for security uh, authentication. One is personal WPA2 personal and WPA2 enterprise and enterprise. You'll have to select the authentication server IP addresses. And in personal, you can just put the passphrase. I'll just keep it personal for now. Uh, let me put the passphrase. This is done. I'll click it next. Uh, radio frequency parameter I'll just uh, keep it typical and enable it for data and voice both once this is done you click on next it gives you a summarized configuration here uh, here you can you know quickly verify everything one more time this is the management IP address of the router and uh, all other things you know everything is there uh, just verify it once and apply the setting once you apply the setting uh, it is going to reload the wireless controller one more time and once it is reloaded uh, you should be able to uh, log into the uh, SSID that you have created with the password so let's go ahead and apply the configuration and I'll pause the video for a while because it will take around 15 minutes to uh, for wireless to configure and reload uh, so I'll uh, start the video again let's reload so uh, in about 15 minutes uh, you can see that my net SSID is active now uh, I'll just go ahead and connect to it I'll just try to connect to it okay it is connected it has not asked for the password because you know same uh, SSID I had uh, uh, created earlier and I was connected to it earlier so it has not asked for user ID password I'll just uh, try to access the router with this my router is 10.1 let's see if it is connecting yeah it is connecting uh, let's get into the web UI it's taking a little time um, yeah it is appearing now meanwhile I'll also try to you know log into dot 5 which is my mobility IP address HTTPS okay so here uh, it will ask to confirm the security risk because the certificate certificate is not known to Mozilla uh, so uh, you will just go ahead and uh, you know accept the security risk to continue I'll do that once it is there I have the wireless controller user ID password option uh, the user ID password I have just created I'll use the same and you can see that I am able to access the wireless controller also so uh, once it is up you can see that there are a lot of options uh, it is actually a controller you can go ahead and configure anything you want to uh, you know you normally do it do on controllers so here also if you go and check the you know WLANs which is created this uh, you can see here my net we have created and uh, you know the access points which are uh, basically right now there is just one access point uh, which is connected to this uh, uh, controller if you go ahead and see I mean other options there are a lot of options available here you can go ahead and explore it 
there are monitoring options there are uh, you know management options and configuration options are available so this is a full fledged wireless controller available to you and uh, i mean it's very easy to configure and now one thing is left i just wanted to show you that what configurations i have on router so that uh, you'll get an idea that uh, what are the things that you need to enable on router first before uh, you know configuring the wireless controller so i'll just quickly uh, you know log into the router 192.168.10.1 user id password and show platform show uh, ip interface brief if you see i have uh, the ip uh, sorry i have the ip address assigned to vlan 1 apart from this uh, this particular interface uh, wlan 014 it is connected to the access point internally so you will have to basically uh, configure few things under this interface nothing much you just need to enable trunking here so that whatever uh, VLAN configuration you have on access point all data should be able to move uh, back and fo forth between the switch on the router and the access point so uh, these are acting as two different entities connected via uh, one gigabit ethernet link so that gigabit ethernet link is nothing but, but this interface and this needs to be enabled for trunking. And apart from this, uh, I have not configured any uh, particular VLAN here, just I have kept it everything uh, as default. And if you see a VLAN 1 configuration, it is just having one IP address. Uh, that is all. You don't need anything else to be configured on this router to get it connected to the wireless. So I hope this would clear uh, how you can configure or enable wireless on your uh, Cisco 1100 router. If you have any questions, you can put it in comment box. Uh, thanks for watching the video and please uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll have more cool videos coming in. Thank you so much.